Okay, welcome to the King James Version Bible Daily Devotional. Before we get started, let's have a word of prayer. I love you, Jesus, and I thank you so much for how you're blessing this channel, the way you're moving, the way you're just helping people to get more into your word, get more out of your word, and the Holy Spirit's teaching and, and preaching and guiding hearts and minds and souls and lives. I thank you so much. Please help us to take off more of man, put on more of you every day, and to leave here with more knowledge than we came. In your precious name I ask it. Amen. Today's scripture is Ephesians 1, 4 to 5, as always. All I ever use is a King James Version Bible. I shall lay it some KJV upon thee. According as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestined us into the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. So God, before the beginning of the, of the, of the earth, foundation of the world, he chose us. We should be holy without blame. Does that mean that we can't walk away? No. You see, God, God has given us free will. Jesus Christ gives us free will. Humans were created by God with free will. We have a choice to either live for God and be a Christian. That's A. B. Refuse God and never be a Christian. Or C. Be a Christian become backslidden, turn from God, refuse to repent of our sins where the Bible says at least 250 times we have to. And then what happens, we go to Revelation chapter 3 verse 5 where Jesus says, if you do not finish the race with spotless garments, I will blot out your name from the book of life and I will deny you before the Father and the angels. So it's a two-edged sword. Of course God created all of us. He created all man to serve him, to love him, to be holy, without blame before him in love. But, we also have free will. will. That's the cool thing about God and about Jesus. They could make us do whatever they wanted to do. They could make us be like puppets on a string. <coughs> and just tell us, you're going to do this, end of story. Or I'm just going to point down and just blow you up and turn you into dust, into fragments. God doesn't do that. Jesus doesn't do that. God sent Jesus' his only son to earth to die for our sins on the cross. He risen again on the third day, praise the Lord. When he died on the cross for our sins, he gave us a choice. No man, no man, no man can take us from the hand of God, but, 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 we are free to walk away. We are free to climb out of God's hand and walk away. It's so the way it goes, my friends. We have freedom of choice. We decide. God and Jesus, or Satan, and hell. There's no other options. There's no middle ground, no fence riding. It's one or the other. So understand the entire scripture. Don't cherry pick scripture like so many so-called Christians do today. Take the Bible as a whole word. And we're going to have a prayer time like we always have. Anyone who does not know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, we've got a prayer for salvation. And if you wanted that group C, who <coughs> were saved at one point, but you're backslidden, you're living a life of sin, you've got a sin pattern of iniquity in your life, and you refuse to repent because you do not believe what the Bible says at least 250 times, that you have to repent of those sins every time you sin after you're saved. If you've got the opportunity to repent, you got to repent. I've got a Word document, exhaustively prepared, King James Version Bible and commentary. I've sent it to hundreds. I'll send it to you as well if you message me and ask me to send it to you. No time to play games, my friends. It's time to get serious. So let's have a word of prayer. Jesus, I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again on the third day and went back to heaven. Please forgive me of my sins. Clean my heart white as snow. Come live in my heart. Make me a child of the King, a new creature in Christ. In your precious name I ask this. Amen. Get, next, get a King James Version Bible and read it daily. It will feed your spirit and soul the way you feed your body with food and water. Pray to Jesus every day. He's your new best friend. He wants to talk with you daily. Make sure you find a Christian church and get water baptized. Dunked under water is the real way to be baptized. If you were sprinkle baptized in the past, it don't count, my friends. Do it over again. Pray be filled with the Holy Spirit. Sanctify. You do this by praying and reading the Bible and living for Jesus. Take your King James Version Bible to church. When the preacher speaks, make sure what he says matches your Bible. If not, get up and walk out and find a new church. And lastly, very important, make sure you repent. Repent, repent of every sin. You do now after you're saved. Ask Jesus Christ to forgive you with an honest heart, and he will. If anyone has a prayer request, I'm going to pray for anything, from a terminal illness, to a sick pet, 
anything in between, contact me. I have the gift of faith, mustard seed faith. If I didn't earn it or deserve it, praise the Lord. When I prayed for it, He gave it to me. And I'll pray for you every day if you ask me to. Expect a miracle in your life, knowing that God will perform that miracle if it's within His holy will. And if He does, it's all through Him. Nothing to do with me. I'm the least in God's kingdom, a tiny fish in a huge ocean, a slave for Jesus Christ. So my friends, if you're sitting on the sidelines, you got your hands in the big 55-gallon bucket of popcorn, hot butter popcorn, cases of Mountain Dew and Mellow Yellow on the sidelines, big easy chair. Get off the sidelines. Get out in the game. Get out in the front lines of the war with the rest of the of the few soldiers who are out there fighting the war in God's army. <coughs> the harvest is so plentiful, it's rotting in the fields. There's a lack of harvesters. Put on the full armor of God, morning, noon, and night, so you can fight those battles. And make sure you take off more of man and put on more of Christ every day. Love you guys. I pray for you every day. And may God bless you. Good night.